and I'm late, but not too, too late, if you know what I mean. So, why as well do it right now, right? The reason why I'm saying that, <coughs> saying that, because I was supposed to get a second one to open it, so I have it out on the, you know, on my thing over here. But too late because they tore them all down and now i'd only have one and i'm going to keep them in this package because well this is the last of the rise rosanita turtles this is supposed to be the shredder and i did find another one if you saw my um video where i'm at walmart and target all his head just comes right off so i was like dang i don't know they broke it or you could fix it but whatnot um, as you could tell, the guy who created or helped make the Rising Ninja Turtles is uh, Samuel Jacks. And remember, um, that big ass demon that he was trying to fight? Well, look, it, he changed, he actually, that's all it is, is that demon from that show and trying to make it look like Shredder, but it's just that. Um,. So um, I hope, and they said they actually have a new artist, a new writer, which I'm hoping is going to be good. Better than a rise against against the Ninja Turtles or rise of the Ninja Turtles, or whatever. But um, there's hooks right there. So yeah, I was oh, I made it just. Just in time to, before they knock tore him down. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's supposed to be Shredder. There you go. I'll read that if you want. See, it's just the same thing. The guy took one of his characters from Samai Jack, or whatever it's called, and brought it in this. Now, the one I really wish I had, and they never once brought it out, was this the rare Donatello with the jet. Rare spider shell. I was trying to hope to get those, but those never made it out, as far as I know. And I don't care for this wrestling Don King Michelangelo and Bug Buster Lee and Raff. Of course, they're not going to make the other two, which is, I hate when they do stuff like that. Wrestling Leo, that's all you get with the wrestling Mike. Ooh, where's the rest of them? The Star Shell Turtles was pretty good. The Allies, which I was confused about, like. I saw him, I didn't want to get him because I thought he looks kind of dumb. But I should have got him. Especially the hippopotamus. I got everything else. Except for that guy. I don't know, I think they need to bring Brandon back. Who did the Ninja Turtles 2012 ones. I mean, that guy was a true, true Ninja Turtles fan. And he knew what he was doing. Storyline was great. The artwork was great, and he, like I said, he knew a lot of the old school stuff, and he kept it old school. And that's wish I, oh, I wish they brought him back, that writer and his partner. But this is, like I said, this is one of the last of the rise of the Team NT. Sucks because I will hope I was kind of hoping to get the last shredder, but. Now I'm, only, now I'm just going to keep them in the box. So as I go to the thrift store or the collector places and they actually sell this, i probably get a one for open. I'll we'll probably do this video. Found these at Walmart. Was not paying attention because I was too busy looking for two of the same toy. And my friend pulled this up and I'm like, oh, what is this? And I'm like, oh, crap. And I, <laughs> he did it the second time to me. So, it's a fist soldier mixed with mystic creatures. As you can see, I'm surprised they didn't make the other guy, the other foot one. And yes, we're going to open them up. Oh, by the way, battle shells are back. I swear to God, I've seen them and was not paying attention. So... I guess they're gonna just call them battle shells instead of store shells, turtles. There they are, the originals, and then the boom. They only released two for the second series so far. So I'm actually quite excited. Just like this the Chuck E. Cheese 
showbiz creepy ass toy. This actually reminds me of Pizza Face, like to the core. So, and here he is, who was a, which doesn't make no sense. So here's what he is: birthday celebration. Uh, what was it? Turned into a real party animal with razor sharp metallic claws, and yeah. Now this is some kind of killer robot, but obviously he has that symbol on it. So he's like a mutated robot, which that doesn't make no sense. But, so yeah. So let's see what he's good at and what he could do. So we're gonna go ahead and open these up. Um, I'm gonna record this very good just in case there's a second print out there so they just came out all right <clears throat> so I write on pizza points eating pizza so saving these saving these 2018 so these are out let's see what it looks like from the inside You can do it. Oh, I wish I could find my tripod. Okay. What's going on here? There we go. Um. Okay. So, nothing really new. The same thing. There is. No, those guys. And the giant turtles and, you know, the ninja action, but no Saurus turtles and none of these guys are in it. Wow, that scared the little crap out of me. So there. That's awesome. So I like the fact they're actually getting them more weapons. Whoa. This weapon looks pretty cool. Look at the skull. Wow. Maybe I should start making that. The weapon's actually pretty sweet. And then his mystic weapon. That you actually can see her through it. Because it has that mystic looking thing. <laughs> the jail part or whatever you want to call it. Oh, dude, that's beautiful. And then the skinny, he is really skinny. So he has a giant footprint on his face, which looks kind of cool like that. I have to get him just right. Of course, they kind of misprint painted it. I guess this is supposed to be like brown or something like that. Maybe the next print will. <laughs> like I said, I like this, I kind of like these foot soldiers because they kind of have that old school alien monkey look to it, which I really, really love. So this head is easy to move, which is good. Arms out. Let's see what else we got. Moves from the elbow part. No wrist joints. What's underneath there? <gasps> Nothing. Okay. And on the back has a little print on the back. 2018 Hong Kong. This is pretty cool. I like him. Joints on the knees and the thighs. Not bad. Not bad. That. That's pretty sweet. I like this toy. I actually kind of enjoying these creatures. Can't really see the eyes unless you go like that. Alright. Alright. I 
kind of I'm really digging this one, especially the weapons. That is sweet. Okay, so with this one, the hands has a really nice grip on this one. Really nice. However, not so well on this one. Because, once again, the weapons, it's skinny on the handle. Holds nicely, okay? Don't get me wrong, it holds nicely until maybe your kids are playing or maybe you're playing with it and all of a sudden you start banging on it and all that. And all of a sudden, phew, it does come, whoa, actually it's staying. Nope, never mind. I was like, wow, it's actually staying. Eh, shut me up, almost. Alright, I mean, if you're just gonna hold it, like have a, you know, stand like a statue, then it's okay. But if you're just gonna play with it and bump into it, a these things do come off like really easy so it's not a really good grip on that side but once again the grip is actually pretty nice for this one so we're gonna keep it like that however piece of face is which I'm going to call you okay so he has this robotic look I guess they kind of size down the face because I don't know why Pretty good idea. The tooth won't come off because if you look carefully, there it is. I have this long piece so it won't come off. Smart idea. Robotic eyes. This little hat like piece of face. Um, printed, not like, well, it's carved in, but you know what I mean. Not like the other one. Like 2018. Hong Kong Viacom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For some reason, the plastic feels kind of kind of cheap. Look, I don't know what it is, but yeah. However, that's all he could do with his head. Arm goes out. The fingers don't move, but it kind of looks like a really good grip. Hands has or the. Hell yeah, it has a little grip to it. A little joint, whatever. Elbows, moves, so that's good. <coughs> good on this side. And he got a joint on his elbow and his wrist. Kind of flimsy a little bit. Over here, not so much. Flimsy. Legs, moves. Dude, it is to the core of piece of face idea. Please tell me you guys are going to make some new characters for the old schoolers, if you know what I mean. But. Not new characters, but new look for the old characters. Be kind of see, be nice to see a repeat. Now this part, right here. The feet does not move. So you have that weird old school stand. And this piece. The thing you know. Hit the guinea pigs or whatever you call it. The fob thing. This has a good grip. Looks like it has a good grip. Doubt it on the other hand. Because that's way too open. The prairie dogs, that's what they're called. And knock them over the head. So I'm pushing a little bit on it, like not too hard. And it will come up, but it's nicely, t nice tight to it. Wait for this thing to slip out. Nothing. A little movement, but not as heavy as like a slight red offering like that. So this is actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know what else they're gonna do with it. Because if you look at it. Let me go get this piece over here. See like that piece right there. And that piece right there. Doesn't look like it's attached to it. I mean he has this little looking black tooth right there. But it's not the same. But I do like the paint job for the metallic robot look to it. What else does he have? <coughs> hmm. Mm. 
Looks pretty cool though. So not so much. Um, of course, I guess I keep those. Keep that. And a little pizza thing for accessories. Uh, maybe that's why you have this, right? Let's find out why. So he just holds his pizza. Not bad. This is a good toy. I'm just going to call you Pizza Face because that's what you are. You're a new version of a Pizza Face. It was so obvious. So, alright. It has like torn up like shirt, but yet there's no torn up shirt over here. Well, kind of. You look at it like that, but I don't know. <coughs> so, I don't know how is that foot supposed to look like that? Or it's supposed to be like, wait, there it goes. There we go. Okay. So, the second series is not so bad. It's pretty cool. I dig it. The hand is just bad. But everything else is not so bad after all. Um, I'm hoping, because remember there's another, another ninja one that's like, you know, fatter and bigger or whatever. Hopefully they release him. So it'd be two and a foot soldiers. Or the foot mystic, whatever. So, I'm curious if they're going to make a actually a figure of the worm that news reporter guy that really annoying creep character I hope not that'd be kind of weird that was a dumb character but once again nothing it's, I don't know why they didn't maybe they, they got pushed out too fast and then they get a chance to make a second card toy thing but I do know that this is pretty cool. I like this. I'm tired. But like I said, there's only two characters that just came out. And of course, the Battleshell Turtles. I'm actually quite excited about this. I mean, their shells are already weird enough as it is. So I'm just kind of curious what this looks like. So, alright. Um, that is it for these guys. Uh, which character you do, out of the second series for now, which character do you prefer that looks really cool? One looks, does one of them suck or the other one's better? To me, they're all pretty cool. And dude, that is a sweet weapon. Okay, so if you're like me, who likes the same toy, but there's something different about it, and you're willing to collect it, like it doesn't matter if it's painted different or. Or maybe they have different accessories, or maybe the accessories are colored differently, you know, stuff like that. Um, so I got some um, pictures on my uh, Instagram, and uh, I came across some really cool stuff. So uh, if you're watching, I guess I will review the stuff that you sent me, like the pictures, because I did find one. Um, however, there's more out there, and I will show you what I'm talking about. I got these guys. I was thinking about opening them, but I was like, no, I can't. So as you can see, um, I already reviewed this guy. But, you notice anything on there that's not on there? The pizza points. Supposedly, the pizza points are not in there. If you haven't seen my review or my toy hunting stuff, and I was comparing it and everything, I couldn't remember which one I had, so I had to open up my uh, Instagram. But, um... Yeah, there is no piece of point sticker. Has them down here. It's talking about like about the demo or something like that. But they were work. They were. I guess they were working on it. But um, yeah, there's no piece of points on these things, and I'm guessing that's the original print because a lot of people were really kind of disappointed because they were hoping to get a piece of points, but then realized they got these ones and there was no piece of points whatsoever. So like Australia, you know, Germany, London, they don't have these kind of things. But the cards looks a lot cooler for some strange reason. But the reason why I'm doing this again, because I got a different verse. And I'm pretty sure you could tell the difference already. So, 
for some strange reason, this one has a more of a redded, red, redded, what the heck is that? A red face paint job, but, yeah, you can tell how it looks and everything, you can tell it's a paint job, it's kind of weird. And then the suit, it's all freaking dark, it's like a darkish color. However, if I could get this camera stop blocking the light. I got to figure out how to do this. As you can see, I got a better idea. Ta da! Zoom button. You can tell the differences. This one's more orange and is a longer paint jaw. Compared to the other guy. Not only that, it seems like the eyes over here is a lot more. Oh wait, they're a lot more wider compared to this one over here. You can see the suit, how this one is a little bit lighter than this one. The weird part, like I said, is they usually do this the opposite way. You know, like, bring out the lighter color, and then they actually paint it darker for the next, like, next print. I like this. I love these. I really do. Because I'm like, wow, it kind of reminds me of the 1988 uh, Foot Soldier, how they have that, that monkey alien look to them. That's what I like about it. Um, so yeah, when I got this one, he actually has a piece of point, and um, I do want to get more of these because I noticed there's other ones out there. Chosen 18 Viacon. So yeah, uh, I couldn't believe that he's like, yeah, hey, check this out, and he showed me a picture. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, why does that look completely different? Even the foot on the head part looks... I mean, this actually looks like a foot on his face. And this one doesn't even look like it. This looks like a mask with dots on top of his head. But look at it. So, if, like I said, if you're one of those people like me who likes the same toy but something's completely different. Like, absolutely completely different. Get your hands on these. Now, there's another one. I don't have them yet. I have the second print with the frog arm for this one. The me sweat one. Yeah, you could actually there's another one out there that he doesn't have dang it. Doesn't have that hand. He actually has like some kind of like a like his hand stretching out kind of looking like like a like he has a I can't, even th I can't even think of a name or a word for it. It doesn't look like that. There's that's the other print. But yeah, he, there's another one out there with the hands that looks like his hands is like stretching out to grab someone and squeeze their face with it. That's what it looks like. So that's one of the things I noticed about something right there. Um, I haven't double checked the other guys yet. There's, I'm pretty sure something's different than Turtles. Still haven't found April O'Neil yet. I don't know why she's hard to find. But I'm going to keep my eyes open for the other guys. Maybe there are different prints as well. Before they release the second series. But yeah, I just want to give this a word out for you. Crazy collectors like me. So, that's it. That is my little heads up for the fans out there as well. Um, but there's another one with the orange face, but his face wasn't like long piece. It was actually fatter looking. Think about getting that as well. But if I could find another one of, of the wrong with the red face, I pretty much will get that one and open them up. But as far as right now, I'm going to try. I told myself I didn't want to do this. Like, I don't want to get the new Turtle Toys and keep it in, B in the MOC kind of thing. But now they're doing this, like the whole no piece of points thing. And I'm like, dang it. Fine, I'll start collecting these ones with no piece of points. You know what I mean? 
But that is it for now, guys. Like I guess I just want to share this with you. And, dude, if you're watching, thank you again for the heads up. Um, if anybody else has any pictures, Instagram, Facebook, tag me along. Say, hey, check out Leonardo. This one part is painted. The other one's not. The, um, the comic, not the comic one, the toy fair one, I guess you call it. They're different paint job as well. They're actually more painted than the toy they releasing in stores. So those are different as well. I want to get my hands on those. But if you know anything from the store area, like maybe Splinter has his hair, you know, painted on top of his head and or something. If you know something, please give me the heads up so I actually go find these for my collection and then review it so I can thank you for that as well. As far as right now, that is it. Put your comments down. I want to hear what you guys think about it. Uh, to be continued. And happy hunting, everyone. Laters.